I what's that? I need a knob here. Okay. Okay, we know that uh, the uh, maximum, uh, actually the minimum flow rate of our pan, of our pump uh, for this tank should be 280 liter per second. Okay, uh, yeah. Okay, then I put here 300. This will be, in fact, my my uh, inlet flow to the tank. Okay, what I need to do, oh, I forgot to give the value for gain factor. Uh, the value for gain, we already calculated that, is this number, if I can copy it somewhere from here. Oh uh, yeah, cut. Okay, you see here you can give uh, actually you uh, you can uh, actually you should if you work with a German operating system uh, here you should give uh, uh, you should use a comma as decimal separator. But in a formula node you are not allowed to use comma as a decimal separator. Okay, everything's fine. Now the only thing I have to do is wiring all this. Wait a little, my computer is failing. Okay, everything seems fine. Uh, I go to here, yeah. If we compare these two, You see, uh, we have everything here. We have Q in, we have Q O, the formula, and this is our tank. It should work. Okay, but before starting uh, the program, I have to show you something. You can uh, actually configure your control and simulation loop. First of all, you can give the simulation time. I'm going to give the sim simulation time of 10,000 seconds. It, it is, this is second in fact. Okay. I go to the other tab, the timing parameters. I enable synchronize, uh, synchronize loop to timing source. For the period, I insert 50. You know, the higher the period is, actually the higher the value of the period is, the slower the loop, uh, actually the simulation works. You can play with these numbers and see what happens if you put a higher value or a lower value. You should do, you'd better do that. Okay, everything seems fine. But uh, just I say it again that here in this case we don't have any closed loop system we have just an open loop system just ignore uh, these parts in our uh, picture here uh, we didn't use these parts actually we haven't used uh, or we haven't inserted these parts uh, uh, yet but in next video in next steps we are going to complete uh, this program and we are going to use all these 
um, actually processes or controllers that you see here but uh, at this time we only have this section let's say this section without even uh, sensor we don't have any sensor uh, at this time again I um, actually I say it again we don't have a closed a closed loop system at this time we have only an open loop system okay I'm going to run it okay nothing changes because the Q in is zero okay move it okay it was too fast it was too well I tell you what was the problem okay just consider also this I stop it and talking about the problems of this program please pay attention first of all you see I, I move it here so you can see it more clear the maximum level of our tank is supposed to be 4 meter but here we have 9300 and some meters in a very short time we reached, we reached that level okay first of all we are not allowed to reach such a level because you know after four liter the extra water overflows and it is not possible to have a water level more than four meters okay the other problem was that the tank was filled with water very fast i would say too fast okay uh let's solve the first problem uh, first the first problem actually if you had uh, if you have seen the video of tank level alarm we had the same problem also there uh, here we can all uh, um, uh, actually here we also solve this uh, the, this problem with a similar method in control design and simulation in simulation part there is something called uh, in non-linearity uh, non called saturation okay saturation function is like what we used in that video in tank level or uh, La, uh, actually its function is like coerce and uh, I'll show you here its function is similar to yeah mm, this function in range and coerce I show you how to use it okay, double click okay Okay, we have to actually determine the minimum and maximum level of our tank. The level of tank of our tank here cannot be less than zero and it cannot be more than four. Okay. Now I have to pass through it. If I can panic, okay. Everything seems fine. Okay. Now this problem. Solved. 
somehow okay okay this is the person let's see what happens okay that's good but, um, okay I think okay uh, data version uh, okay let's run it again Okay, let me think about it. Uh, what is the problem? It shouldn't be like this. Okay, back to the program. I found the problem. Okay, I run it. I run the program again. Uh, okay. Okay, first of all, I changed something here and I forgot to. This saturation point is. Uh, four. Again, I run it. Okay. I said before, uh, the first problem. Um, was solved somehow but the second problem is not solved okay by the way when I uh, actually when I put it on zero the tank should start to empty but it doesn't happen immediately because uh, we have to actually put some probes here so we can see what happens I put a probe here okay at four yeah the problem is there you see because uh, actually there is too much water coming into the uh, tank it takes some time to uh, actually to come down to a proper valve